Basketball was originated in America in 1891 and has taken tremendous strides. Careful study of the basic skills involved and good teaching of basketball fundamentals have been largely responsible for its great popularity. One of the most important of these fundamentals is ball handling. It involves catching the ball, holding it, passing, faking, feinting, dribbling the ball, and shooting. This planned offensive action combines all these skills and shows the effectiveness of good ball handling. The man with the ball, number eight, fakes to number 34, but passes to number 12. Eight cuts by him, screening the play. Twelve bounces the ball once and passes to 34, who fakes a return pass, but instead gives the ball to number eight for a shot at the basket. Let's begin with one of the most important fundamentals in basketball. How to hold the ball. Notice that the ball is gripped at the side with the seams running from hand to hand and the valve up. The fingers are widespread and the thumbs point in toward each other. The palms do not touch the ball. This technique of holding the ball is known as fingertip control. Here is a simple drill which will help players learn the correct grip and fingertip control. Constant practice makes the action second nature. This spinning the ball exercise accomplishes two important things. It helps to improve control and constant practice accustoms the player to the feel of the ball. The natural axis for most players is a line perpendicular to that of the valve. The player learns to feel the seams with his fingers and to make adjustments almost automatically. Notice how this player, preparing to shoot, adjusts the ball in his hands with little effort. The next step is to learn to catch the ball properly. And an important rule about catching the ball is always come to meet a pass. Stance, too, is important. In meeting the ball, have one foot well ahead of the other. This stance gives good balance and body control. The width of the stance depends upon the stature of the individual. It should be wide enough to ensure a firm, secure base and close enough to permit movement in any direction without loss of time. This player is now ready for whatever situation may arise. He has a good, firm base and at the same time can move quickly in any direction. A split-second delay may mean the loss of an opportunity to score a basket. Here he plays it right, avoids his opponent, shoots and scores. Since shooting stance is so important, let's analyze it in detail. The knees are slightly bent to aid in the throw and to provide balance control for quick change of movement. The body is bent slightly forward at the hips. This is another important factor of balance. The head is held erect to ensure a complete view. Note that this is contrary to the bent position of the knee and body. When catching the ball, the player's view must be unhampered. Interference with vision may cause a fumble. In this view of the proper position for catching a ball above the waist, notice the elbows. 
even though the arms are extended to meet the ball the elbows remain slightly flex this provides flexibility and permits giving with the ball the give will prevent the shock from being transmitted to the body the fingers and wrists act as additional springs in absorbing shock if any part arms elbows wrists or fingers are held rigidly the ball will bounce from the hands notice the relaxation and rhythm of catching the ball the hands are held in a cup position fingers outstretched thumbs pointed in toward each other while they act as a stop for the flight of the ball with the fingers wrists and arms giving slightly All this enables the player to have immediate control of the ball and to proceed instantly with dribbling, passing to a teammate, receiving it, or shooting for the basket. Let's review the basic fundamentals of the stance again. Knees slightly bent, body leaning forward, arms extended, Elbows slightly bent, hands cupped, fingers spread, thumbs pointed toward each other as the ball is caught. Head up, eyes on the ball. Let's see how it works in the game. With deft skill, the player passes, receives the ball, fakes, then dribbles toward his basket, shoots, and scores. In receiving a pass below the waist, the hands should be held with the fingers pointing downward, thumbs out. This makes for security and helps when the arms give with the force of the throw. An ability to handle the ball with one hand is essential to good performance. In one-handed action, you do not grip the ball but control its balance on the fingers and thumbs. Changing from the two-handed to the one-handed grip requires that the fingers be well spread, aiding the control of the ball. To use the one-handed grip successfully, it takes a lot of practice. More of the hand touches the ball than in the two-handed grip, but the ball leaves the hand under direct finger control. The hook grip is another method of handling the ball with one hand. The ball is cradled in a hook formed by the hand, wrist, fingers, and forearm. It can be rolled off with surprising force and control. Here we see the important fundamentals of ball handling. Constant practice in the basic skills shown in this film will develop in most players confidence, poise, and speed of action.